Hey Highlands families, this is Eric Callis, Director of Technology uh, over at the District, and I am coming to you with this video that I asked Perrin Schmidt, our help desk uh, technician, to put together about cleaning your iPads uh, over the break. Uh, the same things that he shows for the iPads will work with the laptops that we've given. I know with uh, the transmittability of the virus, uh, we're all concerned about keeping things clean, so uh, the, the video is only a couple minutes long. Please take a look at it. Uh, feel free to clean those machines as you need to, but remember, don't make those cloths real wet. We just want them to be damp. If you have any questions, you can email me at ecallis at district106.net, uh, and we'll answer any questions you have about taking care of the devices. So here you go. Here's Perrin. Greetings from the help desk. Uh, Mr. Callis asked me to throw together a quick tutorial on the proper way to potentially disinfect our iPads in the next few weeks here in particular. Um, there are typically a two-part setup. The keyboard on our iPad stands is removable. removable. It's magnetic, comes off very easily. To clean the keyboard, uh, actually any devices, let me back up a sec. We typically use microfiber cloth and a kind of a light household cleaner Windex. Uh, which could be ammonia-based or hydrogen peroxide-based. Here at the school, we use a hydrogen peroxide-based, uh, basically, window cleaner. Um, anything harsher than that, we try to keep away from the, uh, the technology. At any rate, using those tools, uh, the first kind of rule to not um, forget is to always spray the cloth, not the device. Um, on the keyboard, it's less of an issue, but on the device itself, there's openings... Uh, home button, camera, microphone stuff, speakers uh, that we prefer not to get liquid inside of. So at any rate, keyboards come in a couple of vintages here. Uh, one is slightly older. It's a little bit more mechanical. The slightly newer version has a membrane over it, obviously a little bit less susceptible uh, to liquid, but uh, get the cloth moist, but not wet. We don't want, obviously, moisture to get down into the keyboards, blah, blah, blah. Um, you guys kind of get the idea. You can wipe the whole thing down, um, including the case. Um, feel free to uh, wipe down the screen as well. Obviously, a, a touch point for, for, for most folks. Um, again, be careful that the, the uh, cloth is not overly wet uh, so we don't get moisture into some of those openings uh, more than is necessary to keep that clean. That's kind of the gist, not rocket science, obviously, but just wanted to uh, offer a couple of those tips. Um, good luck in the next couple of weeks and let us know what you need. Thanks.